welcome and today i want to show you and teach you how to intelligently use chat gpt to edit your research work without following any principle or ethics of academic writing now by now you are aware that chat gpt is a very powerful tool a very powerful generative ai that can um, help you in a number of themes in research writing one thing it could quickly help you with is uh, help you rewrite your research work the introduction or uh, help you create an outline for your research work it may even give you a first draft but today I want to show you how you can use it without um, offending any of the rules of plagiarism or the ethics of academics. Now, most persons who attempt to use chat GPT for paraphrasing get to do it the wrong way. And because they do it the wrong way, when their work is put to an AI detector, it immediately shows up that uh, their thesis, their research work is AI generated. And so you want to use AI, but you want to use it intelligently, you want to use it ethically, you want to use it without offending um, the, the rules of academic writing in your university or in a journal you want to submit your work to. How? Do you get to use that and before i teach you that before i show you that i want to show you two things you do wrongly when you want to use chat gpt some persons when they want to use chat gpt to edit their work they simply go to the attach button and um, get to attach all of their work yes something like that they attach all of their work and maybe prompts the AI and say um, re-edit and uh, paraphrase if you like edit and pa paraphrase the introduction of this uh, attached research paper of course, AI on um, ChatGPT has the ability to hallucinate. It has the ability to be nuisance. So if you do this with ChatGPT, it will simply pick up your work and um, is going to paraphrase it and go overboard. It may even replace and change the message you were trying to pass. It could even begin to add um references that do not exist and of course should you copy this work and put to uh, an ai detector it would immediately show that it is ai generated it has been written by ai and so this is one wrong way of using chat gpt to edit your research work another wrong way is picking up uh say this is all of the introduction part of um a research work picking up all of um the introduction part maybe you go to the uh, canvas end of um chat gpt and put all of that that you copy and paste all of the introduction and maybe you would say um edit for grammatical error and um, you say edit and um, edit and replace grammatical or punctuation punctuation errors on this and you're going to hit enter of course, ChatGPT has the ability to do that for you again. It's going to edit. It's going to change a whole lot of things. But again, 
if you do this with chat gpt this work this it this edit it has now um replace and uh, maybe change punctuation and grammatical error would automatically show up as being ai written it will be it will show up as being ai generated and so if you submit it to your university it will be turned down or you submit to a paper that is um uh, that checks for ai generated text it would also um, flag this up and that your paper would be turned down and so since i've now shown you some of the um poor ways or the wrong ways we use chat gpt let me get to show you or teach you how to um ethically intelligently use chat gpt to supercharge your research writing now understand that in research writing in academics the your whatever you're putting out needs to be your voice what you're putting out need to have your input is not some um control c control v kind of um a write-up you're not just copying and putting up um one thing or the other you are ensuring that whatever you're putting out there you add your voice you add your intelligence you add your ability you add your insight to every part of your research writing and so how do you get to do that an intelligent way of using uh chat gpt is to prompt the ai to point you to possible errors or point you to possible grammatical mistake or punctuation and you don't copy a whole lot of text to give to the ai model if you don't want it to begin to hallucinate and so what is the intelligent way i am going to use chat gpt to edit this work i'll pick it one paragraph per time and so i'm going to copy this paragraph and when i put it to chat gpt i'm not going to ask it to rewrite for me i'm not going to ask it to paraphrase for me i'm not going to ask it to change my grammar i only say um point out wrong use of words jargons because of course it's a technical writing jargons um punctuation errors punctuation errors grammatical errors grammatical errors or a poor choice a poor choice of language and um chat gpt would understand do all of that for me point out and so it's gonna just um give me some places where um poor words had been used and it's not going to rewrite for me because once i ask it to rewrite for me it's going to give me the wrong choice of words it's going to give me the wrong answer it's going to change my message altogether and so i'm not going to ask it to do that just point out for me and i will now use my hand and begin to correct it and i can even ignore some of its uh, uh, correction and so chat gpt would point out a few things now you are at liberty to copy um what it has given you take to your original text and begin to change some part but you don't copy all of it and just go and paste because if you do that you are going to be committing the error of plagiarism and so let's see what it has said it has said that the sentence and centricity quantifies the deviation of uh, whatever whatever contains a comma slice um, a grammatical error where two identical clauses are joined by a comma without a conjunction and so you want to go to that sentence you want to see um what was what he has what it has suggested is it grammatically okay you can also ignore what he has suggested and you go to the next he said it's giving you a suggested um, uh, revision is saying and centricity quantifies the division of the geometry from a perfect sphere in nanostructures like um, quantum dot it significantly 
influences the whatsoever whatsoever and so i want to go somewhere there and um, look for that remember this was the part i i, I copied and i want to go look for that sentence and i want to see if its suggestion it's uh, uh um okay and so I, this is what it is suggesting and this is what i wrote so i'm gonna look through carefully where is the comma um okay somewhere here i don't need the comma there i need a full stop so i can correct that and um that is fine and uh, somewhere here it says there's a repetition the phrase and centricity significantly influences the behavior of that, that that is repeated in the first and last sentence so consider um consulting these ideas to avoid redundancy okay um that is correct so i can choose if it doesn't make meaning to me i can forgo that and allow it the way it is written uh, the term shape uh, and its tropy is used without prior explanation okay it's a technical paper uh, should this term be explained? Um, I believe this part will be read by a physicist, so uh, they should understand the meaning of that word. So I'm not going to change that one. I'm going to disregard uh, that suggestion. And um, the phrase deviation from perfect sphere is awkwardly punctuated. And uh, this is how it should be punctuated. So I'm going to go somewhere there, do the punctuation, and uh, the transition between sentences could be smoother to enhance the um, workflow, overall flow, and um, understanding the concept and all of that and all of that. And I want to go somewhere there and see what it has suggested. And okay, I can choose to adopt that. And so I am not copying any part of Chat GPT word for word. I am just using it to edit my work. I am doing the editing. I am still maintaining my language. I am not um, picking all that it has said. I am even disregarding some of the things it has mentioned. That is an ethical way to use chat GPT to edit your work, to even paraphrase your work and check for correctness. Now understand that chat gpt is a very good tool for criticism in fact if you're going to use chat gpt in your research work use it to criticize your work it can act as um, a professor it can act as um, an editor and get to edit your work properly but you don't copy all of what it has said you don't know, even copy any part you ensure that what it has criticized you go to look at it again and of course choose to accept its um uh, critical view or choose to let it go and so this is how you tend to use chat gpt intelligently ethically without firing any role of plagiarism or academic writing it is important to mention that you do not load up chat gpt with a whole lot of work if you do that it's going to um hallucinate it's going to change your grammar it's going to change your message it's going to change a whole lot of things about what you've written and some persons even commit this this error of um asking it to correct it and give you a finalized download copy and you just download that copy and go to submit to your supervisor or submit to your journal that is a whole lot of error chat gpt is not here to replace your ability your intelligence your insight as a researcher it is just here to aid your work It's a machine and like every other machine it's supposed to ease work and not replace work and so you use it as a machine that it is this is how you use chat gpt in editing paraphrasing rewriting your research text don't forget to follow me on um, linkedin and subscribe to this channel for daily tips on how to use ai in research writing